Hi, my name is Douglas McDonald. I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons at Washington University Barnes Hospital. I treat patients with musculoskeletal oncology problems. I see patients at Barnes Hospital uh, as well as St. Louis Children's Hospital and I also see patients at Shriners Hospital for Children. There are a number of bone cancers that children get. Two of the most common that we see are a tumor called osteosarcoma that is a primary malignant or cancerous tumor that arises within bones. Another type of bone tumor that they get that is also a cancer is called Ewing sarcoma. There are a number of things that make the treatment of bone cancers in children different than adults. One of them is their small size or at least patients that are very young. So some of the same techniques that we have available to us for adults we can't automatically use in someone that is small size. So we have to use um, prosthetic components that are smaller in design and there's a couple companies that make some that are smaller. We also have to deal with issues of growth. Oftentimes if a bone tumor involves a growth plate in a child and we have to remove that growth plate, we have to have techniques available to us to be able to restore the growth or uh, at least manage them in such a way that we can keep their extremities at the same length. For tumors that occur in the growing child where we have to remove a growth plate because it is involved with cancer, there are a number of techniques that are available to us. One of the techniques is to use a metallic prosthesis much like we would an adult but has the capability of expanding it. Um, there are different designs that are out there for us to be able to expand a prosthesis. Some of these are fairly advanced to where we can expand the prosthesis and not make an incision. By using a, a special uh, radio frequency coil, we can uh, start an expansion process within a prosthesis and restore some length. We can do this on a periodic basis so we can almost reproduce the same sort of growth that occurs in the normal limb. The team approach in orthopedic oncology is critical to the overall success of their, their care. Um, this isn't a, a subspecialty where just one or two people in a department, for example, could, could take care of these patients. We rely heavily on the input from our pathologists to establish the diagnosis, our radiologists to help us with the imaging, the medical oncologists and the pediatric oncologists that deliver chemotherapy. We often take times need the assistance of multiple other surgical specialties. For example, our thoracic surgeons are involved in patients that may have metastatic disease to the lung. Our spine surgeons are involved if we have tumors around the spine. Occasionally, the plastic surgeons and the colorectal surgeons are all a part of the team that helps take care of these patients. Mm -hmm.